We're just very different. My wife and I were very different. We come from different backgrounds. Like I came from a normal family, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she she just came from like a hippy dippy family, you know. Her her dad's an actual hippie. Her mom's a holistic nurse, and I just if. First of all, if you don't know what holistic medicine is, it's basically like, remember when you were little and you'd play house, you know? And you'd, like, you'd pretend you had to go to the doctor, but you're a kid, so you don't have medical equipment, so you just kind of use sticks and rocks and stuff? You know, that's holistic medicine. That's... Here's, here's a better example. When I was single, before I met my wife, I used to use Irish Spring, okay? It's good soap, I like it. That was my soap. And then I met my wife, we got married, we move in together. She sees my soap in the shower one day, and she freaks out, she's like, whoa, 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 what, what is this? Come here, what is this? I was like, are you kidding me? That, that has aluminum in it, that's terrible. That has aluminum in it. I'm like, I'm like uh, I, I, I didn't see any. <laughs> She's like, you cannot use that. You can't use that. Here, you got to use this weird misshapen oatmeal rock I bought from a homeless person at the farmer's market. <laughs> this is what your body needs. It's the good stuff. All right, whatever. Hey, I'm a married guy. I don't want to make waves. I know how it goes, right? So I'm using her soap, okay? <laughs> Uh, first of all, it hurts because there's pebbles in it. I don't know who's running quality control at the Hippy Dippy Soap Factory, but I think they're asleep at the wheels. There's a lot of junk going down that line. No one's picking out. I'm using her soap one day. I'm washing myself. I cut my leg. I literally cut my leg. I look down. There's a stick in the soap. You ever cut yourself soaping, anyone? It's very frustrating. I never found a stick in my Irish Spring, okay? But that's kind of a big selling point when I, when I buy soap. No sticks. Mm. Look at that one. I just don't get this hippy-dippy movement we're all moving towards. Or, you know, oh, you shouldn't, you don't, you shouldn't wash yourself with anything and, unless you found it on the ground in the woods. That's how you know it's good soap. I used to go to Target, and I'd buy a year supply of Irish Spring, and it would cost me, I think, what? I don't know, $11? <laughs> Comes in a box, made in a factory, says soap on the side somewhere, so you know what you're buying. And meanwhile, my wife's buying soap from gypsies, <laughs> made out of oatmeal and sticks, right? The packaging is rope. Good quality control right there. <laughs> the label is just a ripped off piece of scratch paper someone hand wrote, nature's chunk of crap. $18. <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.